Slow motion footage can really level up your videos, but you also need to know how to edit it. So let's dig in. Okay, so you've gone out and shot your footage in slow motion in your higher frame rate, and now you want to edit it. So we're gonna jump into Adobe Premiere Pro and show you the ways in which you can edit your footage from basic techniques to tricks that can make things a little more exciting. Okay, so first we're gonna go and open up Premiere Pro and create a new project. And for the purpose of this video, we're gonna be working in a 24 frames per second timeline. Now, of course, you can shoot in 30 frames per second. And when I talk about different frame rates and uh, speed durations, I'll put a table up to show the 24 frames per second and the 30 frames per second equivalent. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna first import our media. So we're gonna go up to file and we're gonna click import and then we're gonna find our footage. So I've put mine on desktop, slow motion clips. And we're just gonna add all of those into Premiere. So now we have all of our clips in and we're gonna make sure that it's nice and organized. Today, I'm working with clips that have all been in 120 frames per second. But say you've got different frame rates, like 60 or 120, you wanna organize those into two separate bins, just 60 frames per second and 120 frames per second, just for the sake of you know what clips you're dealing with and how slow you can make them go. So the most important thing to remember when you're editing slow motion footage is to not go below a speed where there's not enough frames in the clip per second to your timeline. So what does this mean? So if you're using a 60 frames per second clip, the lowest you can go is 40%. If you go any lower than this, then it starts to look jumpy and it doesn't look right. And it's just gonna look horrible in your timeline and in your final edit. Here's a table of the lowest percentages you can slow footage down to depending on the frame rate for reference for those who don't like to do math. And with that in mind, let's get on with editing our footage. So the first and easiest way of slowing down footage is to change the speed of it on your timeline. So we have our in and out points of Jorge in this clip jumping, and this is in normal speed. And there we go. So as you can see now in the timeline, it's playing back just at normal speed, Jorge as athletic as ever jumping. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna select the clip, make sure it's highlighted and press Command and R, and then this clip speed duration window will pop up. Because this is in 120 frames per second, we're able to change this to 20%. So if I type in 20 and click OK. So now when we play this back, it's slowed down by five times and this jump looks a lot more epic and Jorge looks a lot more athletic. Now you can also do this by highlighting the clip, going up to the menu bar at the top, selecting clip, speed duration, and the same window will pop up and you can type in 20% again. And there you go. A slightly more advanced way of slowing down your footage is using the time remapping tool and using keyframes to select the point that you want the clip to slow down. Now this is a great way to slow down your footage at a specific point and allows you more control over the editing process. So to do this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click on the clip, show clip keyframes, time remapping and speed. So what we can see now is that this clip has this white bar going through the middle. And if you drag this down to say 20%, this will have the same effect as what we did last time, and it slows down the clip by five times. But let's say that you're looking at this clip and you think, Jorge doesn't need to be in slow motion until he's in the air. What you need to do is to find the point that you want the clip to slow down. So I'm gonna do it where Jorge is just starting to be in the air, around about here. And we're gonna hold Command down. You'll see that the cursor changes to an arrow with a plus point. And we're gonna click on the clip at that point and this keyframe will appear. And then we're gonna drag down the right hand side to 20%. If we play it back, the initial part of the clip is in normal speed and then it instantly drops to 20%. Now this is great to add emphasis to a certain point like in the middle of an action or highlighting the emotion of a scene, making it look like time is stopping around a person at that specific point. If you want the transition between the cut you've just made between normal and slow motion speed to a little bit more smoother, you then wanna add a speed ramp. Now, what is speed ramping? Initially, it sounds quite daunting, but I promise you it's quick and it's really easy to do. So we're gonna zoom in onto our clip a little bit more so we have more control over it. And you're gonna click and highlight the keyframe so it's just turned blue. What you wanna do is drag one of them away from the other and you'll start to see this diagonal line or ramp forming. 
So now when we play this back, the transition is a lot more smoother and it seems like a more seamless edit. You can then play the footage back and you can tinker with the different markers so you get the start and end point of the ramp exactly where you want it to be. Now you can even take it a step further and you can smooth out the ramp. So we're going to click on one of the markers of the speed ramp and you'll see that this little bezier, this little blue line with two circles on the end will pop up. So you're going to click and hold on the circle at the top of the line and you're going to drag it down until the ramp itself starts to create a smooth S shape. And now you've gone from this to this and the speed ramp clip just looks so much better. One of the last things you can do to the footage to make it that little bit better is stabilize it in post. This will just iron out any bumpy movement that may be taken away from the shot and create a gimbal-like movement. Before you apply this effect, as you've done some speed ramping and changed the time duration of the clip, you're gonna to need to nest the clip first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the clip, right click on it and click nest. You can rename the clip to anything that you want. Slow motion speed ramp. So once you hit enter, it'll turn green and now this will act as a 24 frames per second clip within the timeline. Go over to the effects panel and click on effects. And you'll see in the search bar, we can type in warp stabilizer and there it comes up in the video effects and distort folder. And we're gonna make sure our clip's highlighted and double click on warp stabilizer. And we'll see that this blue bar comes across that says analyzing in background. In the effects control panel, you'll see that the frames are being analyzed. Just wait for that to be completed. And then just like that, your footage will be stabilized. Now all the rest of the settings should automatically be fine. But just to double check, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna see what it is. So result should be smooth motion, method, subspace, warp. On your framing, you want stabilize, crop, and auto scale. So if you see a bit of wobble in your clip after it's been stabilized, have a look at reducing the smoothness percentage. Usually a good range is 30 to 50%, but this is all again, personal preference. So just have a play around with it and see what you like. There is one final way in which you can slow down footage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna interpret the footage before we put it into the timeline. So to do this, we're gonna select our clip we're going to right click on it, go to modify, interpret footage. And now this window will pop up and we'll see here it says use frame rate from use frame rate from file, which is 119.88, 120 frames per second. And what we want to do now is click on assume this frame rate. We're going to put 23.976. So that then creates it into a 24 frames per second clip. And we're going to click OK. So what this has done is slowed the clip down before you put it into your edit. So you can kind of see what it looks like slowed down before you put it into the timeline. And if you follow all of these steps, that should have your slow motion footage looking top notch and ready to show everyone you know. What else would you like tips on next? Let us know in the comments below.